Hey guys, so today I'm excited because we get to make a Mean Girls doll cake. I love this movie, it's a classic. Tina Fey, you're a genius for writing it. Today's doll cake is inspired by the Christmas scene in the movie. You guys, I just realized that I'm filming this on a Wednesday and on Wednesday, we wear pink. And make sure you stay till the end because I changed it up just a little bit to include one of my favorite movie plot points. So let's get started. Now to create this cake, I'm using a strawberry box cake that I baked in my doll cake pan. I just dyed it with a little bit of red food coloring because Christmas, that's why. Now using my serrated knife, I cut this cake into three equal layers. I'm just gonna stack my cake, add some buttercream into the middle and just smoothen it out with my offset spatula. I placed on the second layer and repeated that process over again. After I added the top layer of cake, I gave this baby a crumb coat and then placed it into the fridge for about 30 minutes. I just wanted to make sure that the buttercream on the inside of the cake was able to set up before I worked on it. Then I took it out, gave it a second layer of buttercream just so I could fix all the places where it was too rough or where there wasn't enough buttercream. Um, it's not a full layer of buttercream because I know there's gonna be a layer of fondant on top of this. Now using my paring knife, I cut out a big hole into the top of my cake so that I could fit my doll's waist in. Then I placed in my doll and covered her waist with some red fondant. Using an offset spatula, I wanted to make sure that the fondant blended in with the rest of the cake. Now for this cake, I rolled out a very large piece of red fondant and I cut it into a circle that was 14 inches in diameter. Starting at the middle of the cake, I cut out a curved line and then I took a cookie cutter and cut out a circle in the middle of my fondant. And I took my fondant and I wrapped it around the cake to create the bottom of the dress. And using my fingertips, I just increased and accentuated all of the natural folds that fall at the bottom. You don't want to smoothen it out, you want to make sure that you're enhancing all of these folds so that it looks like the bottom of the dress has some flow. I don't know why, whenever I say movement or like the flow of the dress, my arms feel the need to like do a hula dance. What? Stop it. And there is a seam at the back of the dress and I kind of just left it because I liked it. So I tried to make it look like it was a part of the design. I didn't want this dress to have too much volume or detail because the design originally is just this really short mini skirt. So I took my fondant roller and just created some very thick impressions to give this dress some texture. Usually I add like panels of fondant, but I didn't think it was appropriate for this design. And I rolled out some red fondant and cut it into a rectangle and just wrapped it around her waist so I could begin to create her spaghetti strap top. Now rolling out some black fondant, I just cut out a belt so I could place it on the top of her skirt. Now her skirt's gonna need some white trim at the bottom. I took my strip cutter and he used that as a measurement so I knew how thick the trim was gonna be all the way around the dress. And I wiped the bottom of the skirt with a little bit of vodka. And then I added some white fondant to the bottom to give this dress some trim. And you have to be very careful because when you wet the red fondant, it just, it gets all over the place. So it might appear on the white fondant and you have to just clean it whenever you can. It rubs off like crazy, you guys. I'm using some sculpting tools to give this a little bit of texture and I'm just working my way all the way around the bottom of the cake. I started to add some more detail to her top. I gave her some spaghetti straps with two tiny ropes of red fondant. Then I painted her top with a little bit of vodka and added some white fluffy details. I'm just using the same sculpting tool that I use at the bottom to make it look super fluffy, very fur-like, much gorge. Now in the Christmas scene, she's wearing some black gloves and this doll didn't have black gloves. So I covered my cake in saran wrap and just began to paint the gloves on with some black acrylic paint. First I did it with the right hand and then the left hand. Yo, it looks so sick, huh? To create a Christmas hat, I just took a triangular red piece of fondant and wrapped it around her head. And then I took some white trim and added that like white fluffy detail. I couldn't believe that this actually worked because it was just a triangle that molded to her head so it looked like a, it looked like a Christmas hat. And voila, my Mean Girls doll cake was complete. 
Yo, she definitely looks like she's ready to dance to the Jingle Bell Rock. It looks like the dress from the movie, but it also looks like just a really cool, edgy Christmas doll cake. But I wasn't satisfied yet. Now in the movie on Wednesdays, they wear pink, but Katie Herring, Lindsay Lohan's character, didn't have a pink shirt, so Damien lent her his. And I want my pink shirt back! I want my pink shirt back! I wanted her to be wearing a pink shirt and I began to create an oversized shirt. I wrapped some pink fondant around her waist to increase her waist size. And then I just manipulated this large piece of pink fondant to create a shirt. I'm just using a paring knife to create sleeves. And then I gave it a collar. And voila, my brand new Mean Girls doll cake was complete. Looks so bomb. Yo, I mean, the Christmas one looks super cute, but this oversized collar shirt is everything. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything that Genius Kitchen posts, including the videos that have this face and these hands making things. Now I'm curious, what is your favorite Mean Girls moment? Let me know down below. I will see you very soon. Peace.